No, he he seriously he seriously is getting completely put together up there. Dude, grab your stuff and get over here. Look at him putting his belt on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ordering some coffee. Putting his watch on. <laughs> Look at him. Da, 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 da. Taking his time. Still gathering his stuff. He's all put together 100%. And then he walks off. Dude, you're supposed to get... What are you doing? You held up the line, the whole putting your watch on and your belt and everything. I know. What, why didn't you bring your stuff over here? It's too early. Stop. <laughs> so I can remember it. All right, we just stopped at this bistro, Berryfield Bistro in the airport, and they have this amazing coffee. It's local blend called Kijiji. And you know where they're where they're locally? Um, they are locally on Murfreesboro Pike. Oh, that's right, Murfreesboro Pike. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm not gonna forget that. Dude, that's some good coffee. It's awesome. It's really wow. good, yes. I hope they put good. Starbucks out of business. Kijiji, dude. You think they'll put Starbucks out of business? I'm gonna get a tattoo. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Dude, get out of here. Okay, guys, so this is the beginning of Barbecue Wars Tour. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Texas edition. This is the behind the scenes video we're doing. Um, we have no idea. It might include Whataburger, who knows, right? It's a good chance, yeah. And we finally realized that like a year ago, uh -huh. We did the, we did our first barbecue wars tour last like almost a year ago exactly. I think it was, it was like February first or something. Yeah, we launched it I February first. Thought it was 1st. Groundhog's Day, but whatever. I don't even know when Groundhog's Day is. <laughs> He's so infatuated. You know what? Don't start with the yeah. Bill Murray <laughs> movies, please. People are like, hey, he looks like hey, Bill he Murray. Looks like Bill Murray. Check yeah, it out. Whatever. No, he has more hair than Bill Murray. Trust yes. me. So um, so we're excited. We're at the airport right now. We got our Kijiji coffee. It's delicious. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Really. Absolutely. Murfreesboro Road, right? Anything uh, better than Starbucks. Yeah. That's all I can say. I, I agree. So, uh, so we hope you enjoy all the videos we're going to be bringing you. We're bringing you eight restaurants. Mm -hmm. The first so person to spot me in a restaurant is going to be getting the uh, the Texas Trio. Trio. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. So I know somebody's going to spot me at a gas station and it's not going to work. It's got to be in a restaurant. Yeah, they'll just follow you. I'll, yeah, I'll be like, okay, dude, look, here's what we're going to do. Follow me. <laughs> just follow me to the parking lot. Just That's stick it. within the rules <laughs> of the game here, dude, because my viewers will yeah. tear it apart. You said it had to be in a restaurant. This guy was at a gas station. Yeah, in the bathroom. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh -huh. So, all right. And, um, and we're traveling first class. Yeah, it thank was, you. That was awesome. Well, no, it oh was. Oh my gosh! It was only like a hundred bucks more to yeah, go first still. class. It's Can't a wait. Sh it's a short flight. So what do you get in first class? We're gonna document that. We're gonna find out. Yeah, we're gonna find out. What do you? What is first class like for a two-hour flight? So it's all gonna be fun. Okay, guys. So we're in first class. <laughs> we're not sure why, but I've been just patting this little pouch on my belt. I'm sure there's some secret weapon in there. Maybe a parachute or something. <laughs> What? What? Shoot. Dude. That's good, yeah. Did you see the shampoo and soap yet? Not yet. Right, we're, we're waiting. Gonna, we're going to take it all. We're going to do it off camera. And we don't get in first class much. All right. I'm going to pull up my table here Let's now. Let's get ready for our meal. Ready? Hold on. Yeah. Let's get ready for our meal. Oops. Oh, go ahead. Ready? There we go. All right. What the frick is that? Dude. Oh, this is just... Okay. So, guys. So, there's a place for my hand now. That's cool. That is so cool. Look, that's for your hand. It feels or good. Your, well, I put my phone there, but the... It's for turbulence. The iPhone Plus it's won't fit. turbulence. Yeah, what is that? It's a hold on. Is that just for a drink? I don't forget any of these do. Yeah. They give us earbuds. That's that, pretty cool. That's the music, right? Yeah, that's music. Wow. Somebody's playing music. Oh. Did I do that? Oh, did you turn that on? Turn that off, dude. Turn the volume down. I didn't do anything. Everybody's on my podcast. No, I'm serious. Here, hey, was, look, we're, that's where we're going. Have a blanket. Oh, we got a free blanket? That's cool. We'll give it to the first homeless person we see. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Well, we got our coffee. What's your biggest concern? I got my wings. I'm excited. Wings? Yes, look yeah, at them. Yeah, well, you better hold that cup when we take off. I'm going to wear it. So how many cups you had already today? If I put them all in here, probably like nine. Nine? 
probably. Okay, and we have it's not even 7 a.m. yet. No, not yet. It's why my hair sticks up, dude. Did what? you notice that? What? It's why my hair sticks up. It lays flat before the coffee. So your hair, after your hair the sticks coffee, up after the coffee, it sticks straight up. Absolutely. Dude, you're the only one I know that can drink a whole pot of coffee. Yeah, well. I do only one coffee in the morning, that's it, normally. That's it? Yeah. Well, look like, at the size of your thermos. Your, your cup so, is 45 ounces. 45 <laughs> ounce thermos. That's right. Got it for Christmas. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to note, note this to anybody who works at the Dallas airport, okay? Now, I, all right, bag claim instead of baggage claim. It's just weird because every other airport puts baggage claim, right? And I'm looking for the restrooms. And they don't have restrooms here. They have toilets. I almost thought the relief area was where you go to the bathroom, but it's not. They call them toilets here. Okay, guys, so look, I get the pick of any one of these minivans, any color I want, and I'm going with red or the maroon or whatever you want to call it. Uh, plenty of room. Look at that. Look at the mouth on that baby. All right, well, so we'll see you in the car. I want to go in the back and watch a movie. Okay, so we got upgraded to this great minivan. <laughs> it's got this a drop so down. Awesome. What does it have? It's got this thing, the drop down movie. I'm going to go back there in a minute. So I'm going to do all the driving. You're going to do all the sleeping and, and partying back there. I'm going to catch up on Netflix. <laughs> oh, <right>. geez. <laughs> all right. And uh, we can also sync to the car. Yeah. We're good. Absolutely. And uh, they're never going to know we're coming in this. What are these for? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. All right, guys. So our first stop is well, here in Dallas. We're going to go to our first restaurant. Get ready for that. Okay guys, so we're on the freeway in Dallas, Texas, and we came, like we were in that right lane right there, and we had, on the freeway, it was like a two foot long on-ramp. Literally a car was almost colliding in our side. Let me see if I can catch another one. You can't see the on-ramp, the cars coming on until they're on, and they have like no room to get on. No merge lane at all. Oh, that's crazy. Was that freaky? It was, yeah, it's scary. All right, so we're in spot 17. So look at this, guys. We're downtown, and I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if they wanted this artwork, but it's pretty cool. They painted uh, all in here where we're at, and it, it's funny how how all <clears throat> like parts of Nashville and parts of this place look a lot alike. Did he really do that to you? He did. He just. Now, he didn't even fix it. He just said, I'm sorry, and walked off. Ah, oh, it's all good. All right, so we got to pay for our spot now. Hey, Mitch, where are you, dude? You need your license plate number. Oh, I do? Yeah. Oh, I better take a picture. Okay, so I'm paying for parking. I just paid $2 to park. $2. Guess how long that's for. Look. Is that crazy? Two dollars for the whole day, for the whole weekend. You can park a car here for five bucks. Man, it's like two dollars an hour in Nashville. Okay, guys, we are in Dallas, and it is a mess. <laughs> there are roads going everywhere. Like this is the worst I've seen. Not even in LA. I got this car next to me that I don't even know how I'm getting over. Literally, lanes are ending, and no warning. Traffic comes in on the freeway for like two feet. Six minutes to Freeport Parkway. It's just, it's just unbelievable. Okay, these are the worst roads ever, guys. <laughs> ever. How do you just add a dollar tax to every Dallas Cowboy ticket and fix your roads? Oh, sorry about that mess. Sorry, dude, you jammed up there. Look at these roads. They, I just, I can't, I can't even explain how bad it is. You can hear it. Every two feet is a seam, and then every four feet is a, a repaired part, which isn't really repaired. It's just patched. Half a mile. Turn right. It's horrible, and you're in like a, I mean, a, a business manufacturing district. What do you call it? A commercial district. That's it. Yeah, but all the freeways were like this too. The freeways were like this. Yeah, the interstate. Dallas has the worst roads I've ever. Oh. Sorry. Sorry about that. That was railroad tracks. I'm not holding them responsible for railroad tracks. Oh, look, Jimmy John's. Hey, what's up? I always wanted to see. Okay, dude. Huh. So we're about ready to bail Dallas, Texas and head to Austin. And you said what? I said we're 20 minutes from AT&T Stadium. 
I was looking on about the Cowboys where they play. That's been uh, one of those bucket list things. Not necessarily to watch them play, because I don't right. even do that because they suck so bad. So once, uh, you, once you see the place, you're not going to drop dead on me. No, I'd be good. But I do want to see the stadium, man. Okay, so you want to detour. if we're that close, let's detour down there. Right. And then head down to Boston. Boston. All right, dude. Let's do it. Uh, you know they're not going to let us in the parking area. Well, if they see you, they might. Well, I'll, I'll ask him we can get close-up shots. You know. Okay. I don't know. Well, that's fine. All right, let's, let's do it, man. It, man. Detour. Let's do it. Absolutely. Now I should hit. I should hit the record button, shouldn't I? Oh, gosh. Okay, guys, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Cha-ching. Payday, baby. That's it. We are at, at Dallas Cowboy Stadium. Shut up! I'm talking. We are at Dallas Cowboy Stadium. Oh, did she say police reported ahead? Yeah, I might want to pay attention to that. She did say that. Yep, she did. All right, guys, I'm right in front of it. <laughs> Look at that. It's just huge. It is Unbelievable. Crazy. I got to get outside. Okay, guys, my eyes are watering. I'm kind of crying because we're, we're somewhere special right now. <laughs> I'm currently standing in front of Dallas Cowboy Stadium, officially known as AT&T Stadium. And the, thing, the thing's huge. Massive. The thing's amazing. It's beautiful. It's better in person yeah. than I could imagine. Look at those glass sides. That's all glass on the side. And don't, I think those open up too to let everybody out. Oh, it's unbelievable. All right, finally we're here. We are back. We're finally we're here. We've made it. So I've excited. been dreaming about this. Never had a, we never had one of these. All right, I'm no, gonna do it. Crazy is it a double? I've never had like Whataburger. I'll never keep some No, Texas. I'm gonna do a double meat Tennessee. Whataburger. The meal or just the burger? Just the burger. Everything on it. Do you like any cheese? Yeah, cheese will be fine. Yeah. Same thing. With cheese. All right. Finally gonna document a bite of a water burger. It was five dollars for the double, for the double water burger, double patty. Uh, when you see this thing, it's worth it. Oh, I added cheese, so really it came to. Wait, wait a minute. That's only one. We ordered two. All right. Okay, so that was interesting. Manager came over and asked if I was filming her employees. They didn't want any of the employees on camera. Wow, I didn't think it would be at a place like this, but anyway, this is weird with like today's technology and everything and cameras being everywhere. As simple as me filming my experience of eating a Whataburger, it's an issue. Now, if I took pictures, they wouldn't care. But pictures at 30 pictures per second, they care. Hey guys, there was a place called George's Burgers that used to make burgers that tastes just like this. Nothing special. Nothing special at all, but there's something about, about when it's all put together that it tastes amazing. All right. It is, is rolling, it, dude. We that are... finger, don't put that finger in front of the camera. It's fine. I'm all right, ready? Yes. And look how big this burger is. It's massive. Okay. Yes. The first ever Whataburger bite on the show. Honest opinion. This is one of the best burgers ever. Ever. Remember when I did the fast food burger chains? Yeah, yeah. Or Burger Wars? Uh huh. This would beat anybody. Hands down, it would be the champion. The best ever, guys. Stop. I don't care if you've eaten at two barbecue restaurants already in the past two hours. <laughs> Stop and it's at least get a it. bite. It's worth it's so it. Clean you out. Punish you. Stop by a Home Depot, clean yourself out, and then come here. All right, stop taking the camera. All right, that's it, guys. I can't. We'll see you on the road. So we get on the freeway right after Whataburger, <laughs> and I see a burger sign. I'm like, that burger looks familiar, right? And it's an In-N-Out burger three miles ahead. And Mitch and I are like, no, can't do another burger. We are like filled up. <laughs> Next scene, we're eating a burger in and out. We just had to get a single. <laughs> just a single. Just a pinch. Yeah. Just can I just get a pinch? So here we're in Austin, and Austin, you have to pay for your bags at Walmart. They have handles. They're ten cents each, or you can bring your own bags. There are no more free bags at Walmart in Texas, and they said it's been like that for six years. 
you can do like we did. God really, bless Tennessee, right? Yeah, oh yeah, with our bags. Yeah, here's our bag right here. This this metal device. It's our bag. We're gonna take it. Bring the bag. Come on. Bring it to the car, and we're gonna unload our bag into the car. Okay, so our first morning breakfast. I'm just a meat and eggs guy. Look at this. I even got a plan on my table. So that's what I'm having for breakfast today. Two things of coffee. Let's see what Mitch is doing here. Holy moly, dude. Look at that. I'm just gonna get in. He's got everything going on on this plate. <laughs> Mitch is back and uh, we're showing him uh, how much food he had on his plate there. And he's back at the table and he came back with this. <laughs> Wait for my waffles. <laughs> dude. Are you gonna have room for barbecue today? Well, this is the appetizer. Prior to. Is that, is that the shape of Texas? I don't know. Yeah, that's Texas right there. I think so? Dude, okay. only Texas. All that's right. Crazy. All right. Enjoy, my friend. Thank you. Holy crap. I just want to give you a shot. This is what it looks like all the time on this freeway here. So if you're thinking about moving to Austin, don't move to Austin. If you're thinking about moving to Nashville, don't move to Nashville. If you're thinking about moving, don't move. <laughs> Stay. It doesn't really matter. Nobody can drive in any state. There's traffic everywhere. It's just the sign of the times. We're leaving Austin right now. We decided we don't like Austin. Am I right? Really? The whole city's under construction. It's, I mean, the entire it's, thing. The people have nothing to do with why we don't like Austin. No. Nothing. No, people are Your roads are... I'm never complaining again. No. The most screwed up roads ever. On ramps to the freeway that are two feet long and you got to come on at 90 or you're going to just wreck. Um, turnarounds. Oh, yeah. These turn, cement turnarounds that you got to do. Everywhere, is, everywhere we went was under construction. Yep. Every single place we stopped at under construction. And it's just, I don't know. There, there are freeways everywhere. You can see behind me. There, It's like a spaghetti of freeways. I don't know. We, would we see like three freeways separate that were, were just just pieces of freeway and just sitting there. sitting there? We don't even know why. And nobody was working on it. It's just a big chunk of a freeway. Like they ran out of funding. Like a bad movie. What are you laughing at? It's a slap at you. Oh, dude, it's, well, it's true. Funny. It is true. Um, everybody in Austin, people-wise, whether they were tourists or locals, were cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yep. Even some of the down-and-out people that we met, mm -hmm. uh, they, were they were very cool, huh? Yep, I thought they were. Okay, so we love you, Austin people. We don't like the city. Yeah. We don't like what they're doing. Look at that it's a disaster. Okay, we're, we're doing a lot of commentary here. All right, so the first thing we're talking about is we're a little shocked. We're already done four places on the tour, and we're shocked that not one person has come up to me and asked for the barbecue. There's been a lot of people in these places, man. A these lot. places have been packed. They've been packed. All right? Yeah. I even posted on social media that I was in Austin, Texas. Okay, so they knew I was in Austin. I didn't tell them where. Yeah, but guess, I mean... Just think, there's like two places in Austin that are like, one is what, world famous? Yeah. Right? One, hello people. So Franklin's, we, yeah. they, you guys you guys know, you've watched me long enough that I get there right when the doors open. Franklin's Barbecue's world famous and not one person showed up for a free Texas Trio Barbecue Grill. I'm gonna tell you right now, if it was me, the viewer, and I knew Jack was coming to Texas, and if I knew that you know that he was gonna go to Franklin's. I'd be going by Franklin's every day from 9 a.m. to 11, at least doing a drive-by, just looking for Jack so I could get that trio. Whether whether I even went in with him or not, but you know that was gonna be one of the staples that you were gonna to go to. Right. Hold on, we went down the wrong way. We're backing up. This ain't gonna make the video, I promise. Okay? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, we'll cut this part out that you missed the light and you went over here instead. So here we are, that's the smoke shack. There's nobody there. No. Well, not that I. It might be full inside. It's three o'clock. Uh, I know. Is that the smoke? Is that the smoker behind the truck there? Hold on. The pig pen. That big truck right, right there. Is that the smoker? Yeah, it is. I just want to give you guys some information on what we've been doing on this trip. We've had lots of leftover food, and I think I mentioned it earlier in the series, that we take all of our leftovers and. 
uh, give them to somebody. We've been blessed to find somebody who needed food. Every single restaurant, somewhere like within a block. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, and Mitch's eyes have been great. He's like, yeah. dude, that guy over the bench, right? Yeah. All right, so then we, we, we got so excited, we started buying food for somebody. So I bought, we bought this brisket sandwich for this guy and gave him all our leftovers and the brisket sandwich because I wanted him to have his own meal and our leftovers. But anyway, so you, we had a, a few observations about this. And the reason why we're only telling you, oh, it's you know, sorry. The reason why we're telling you this is because we were observing something very interesting. So what did you say? So what I think is really interesting about, about people in general is you... Yeah, I think Jack mentioned it or something. I heard him talking about it. You have, you know, some folks that are less fortunate, whether they're homeless or they're going through situations right now. Typically, you know, if you ask them, hey, are you hungry? Do you need a meal? You know, eight out of ten times, their first response is to be very humble and just say no. Say, no, you know what, I'm good right now. And they just they just kind of shy away. Um, if you continue to talk to them and express, you know, trueness and, and basically out of love, they will then accept that from you but what was really interesting too is they are very very um man it's just what is the word i'm looking for dude? independent yeah so? it's they every time you talk to them once you start to talk to them and they they start to eat and, and enjoy this food they do not complain about the situation that they're in that's very 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 never never you know whether they're they're living in under you know under a bridge whether they're in a park, you know, and it's freezing cold outside. And Mitch and I have done a lot of work with regards to, yeah, to the homeless and the needy. Just, so we, we see this. never see that. Nope. They, don't, they don't complain about their situation, which is strange. You know, a lot of people you do talk to, you know, people complain all the time about whatever. There's opportunities in everyone. Oh, you mean but, people with, like, blankets and homes and food on the table every night? Those people? Yeah, some of yeah, them. Yeah, they don't shut up. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, and these uh, guys never, they don't sit here and, they don't, hold on, I'm sorry, I no, took, no, I took over this conversation. All right, they don't sit here and blame anything on Trump or Obama or anything. They don't blame anybody. They don't complain. They don't talk about the situation. Um, they like to talk about just life, uh, what they did as a kid or as a young adult, uh, what they did for a living. This guy we just met was a, what, a steel mill worker. Steel iron worker. Guy. Hard yeah, labor. All his, all his life. Man, the dude's probably, built. What, 78 years old? 78, Hard and he's built a like a Peterbilt. Yeah, absolutely. Peterbilt. Peterbilt. Did I say Peterbilt? <laughs> I meant Peterbilt. I know uh, the truck. Uh-huh. Um, so the observation is this. Stop complaining. Just stop it. Me, stop complaining. Mitch, stop complaining. Ew. All of you out there, stop complaining. Your, your legs. You got legs? Yeah, we met a guy who didn't have a leg. Yeah, we did. He lost his extension, couldn't walk anymore. Yeah. With one of the guys we gave food to. So let's all just stop complaining. The we've never yet, and we're on restaurant number five. Yep. We've never yet had one homeless person out of five complain about anything, Nothing. and they they didn't want anything from us. To know I'm okay, I'm okay. But the moment we said no, really, we bought the we brought the extras in, to share, and then they just scarf it up. They're so grateful. They're very grateful. Yep. My my heart is so warm right now. I know mine too. I'm not a history buff like my buddy over here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> So he's told me 12 times that we're near something. Were we near again? We're nine mile, nine minutes from the Alamo. Oh, okay. Remember that? No, I don't remember the okay, Alamo. Okay, well, you're supposed to. Should I remember the Alamo? You should remember the Alamo. All right. No, I know the Alamo. Stop okay. it, guys. <laughs> we're just playing around. Um, so we have had so much barbecue that we need to walk it off. <laughs> so we're doing another detour. This is a behind-the-scenes video. Yeah, absolutely it is. Yeah. That's right. So we're parking at one of these pay-to-park things, right? And I'm in park number, uh, spot number two. So I come over here to tell them I'm in spot number two and pay. Well, they have this new thing now. You pay by your license plate. So it says, enter your license plate number in, right? Watch. You see it? Enter license plate. We now do pay by license plate. I'm like, are you kidding me? Right? So I come down here, and there's no alphabet. No alphabet. I'm sorry. There's VWX. Nothing else. I've got to figure out what keys make the S and the N and the G and the P on my car. So I go here and I have to cancel. We finally get it tapped in and then it says, please put your card in. I put my card in, it says, please remove your card. I slide the card out and it says, please remove your card. This is the lamest thing ever. So guys, fix your machines, would you please? See the Alamo. <laughs> yes. 
Let's Where go see he? him. Well, I paid 10 bucks to park here. It's right there. <laughs> Isn't it? What? Well, that's the Alamo? Dude, if that's the Alamo, I'm driving the rental van right through it. <laughs> I got the extra coverage. So, Seriously, that little shack? Can't be. If that's the Alamo, man, no. this, this trip's done. We're just going home. We're downtown now. How do we know where it is? Where's our, where, whoa, whoa. Hey, little, little uh, curb there you don't see. Oh yeah, watch the traffic, you don't yep. cars. I'm in, I'm in the street now, yeah. whoops. Hold up, there's guys with guns right there. Let's go ask them. All right. There's the Alamo. I don't know, it's asked. So he's like, he's like, the Alamo's that way, right? I'm like, oh, so what's over here where you're standing, right? The back of the Alamo, right? Yeah. Dude. What? He looked at me like this. I'm like, dude, oh my God. read that up. Let's take a look. Where is he? They're right there. There they are, right there. Right there. They that dude. Guns out, do he do, no, he doesn't. Oh, they're running, running at us. Okay. Let's go. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay, we're funny. here. The Alamo, San Antonio, Des Valero Mission. Fortress Shrine, Grade of Texas Liberty. Here it is. It's all right. And there's a big lock on it, dude. Let's just go around. Oh. oh, it has all these signs in there. Oh, we gotta That's go around. Gift shop. All right, look at that. That's real. That's real, That's right? Solid wood, baby. So you think this is the original wall? Oh, absolutely. Oh, it is. Yeah, for sure it is. Okay, yeah, let's, definitely. Let's take a look. So it's a nice little area, guys. I got an old hotel, oh, yeah. it's like an old district. Ripley's Haunted Adventure, Tomb Raider 3D. Dude, beautiful that is. The Texas flag and the building. How old's that building? Right over the building of the Alamo that we're gonna go in right now. I don't even know. Look at that. Look at this. This is so inappropriate. Thank God the tree's there. What are the odds of that, huh? Unbelievable. All right. Well, I'm not here to show that, but that's kind of funny. Did you Anybody see the? Find you? Did they did find you out see where the you naked were? man? It's yeah. funny. I, the, the angle I was at, the tree covered its private area. Wow. I don't even know if it's naked. Uh -huh. No, All I right. didn't see that. No. So. Uh, is this the entrance? This is the entrance right here, yeah. Alright, we're walking. I don't see anything that says that the entrance to the Alamo is free. Enter here. This is how we're going to play it. I'm going to pretend I'm taking pictures as I walk by the police officers. Are you guys paying attention? This is how it's going to go down. I'm going to... Hey Mitch, let's go take a picture of the sign over here. Look at that. That's a great sign. What? Click, click. What sign? I'm, I'm pretending I'm taking pictures. Oh, okay. See, this way we can bring the camera in with us. What is that? Okay, the take. to the Alamo is free. Yeah, it's free. Okay. Oh. oh. I'm the wrong way. There, now you can see. All right, let's get a picture of the entrance. There it is. So, can I not film in here? Huh? Can I take pictures in here? Uh, only outside of the building, not inside. But once you get out, you can do, take video, take pictures out there as long as you want. Out there? Yes, sir. But not in the church? Not in the church. Not in the church. Okay. No snapshots, no video, no nothing? No, sir. All right. All right, guys. Hold on. Let me take about all right, we tried. I got you all the way to the sign. But here's the deal. I'm going to remember all this. And I'm going to come out here and tell you what it all looked like. It's going to be like you were there. So the, all the shops here and everything, This is we're inside the walls of the Alamo? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's an area that they hunkered down in. And that Maria wasn't here when that war was here. But uh, they hunkered because they just would have, they just would have shot them from the 13th floor. Yeah. So thankfully, just rained out with the cannons, I would have just pushed the cannon out of the window. The window? And just, yeah. Yeah, that might as well. So this is it. This is the area where the Alamo took place. We went in the church. We did a live broadcast. You'll see it on my Facebook page sometime in the past. I don't know. I'm not impressed. Are you done? Are you happy? I'm finished here. Absolutely. You're finished? I'm glad we saw it. Now, yeah. yeah? This was a bucket list. Okay, really? For me, yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah, so thank you, my Char Griller. Thank you, Char Griller. <laughs> awesome. So, so those three girls. Did, did you hear? Did you hear them? Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't get out of my head, dude. No, man. I'm done. I'm done. They're looking done. around in the Alamo. They're like, "This is where they rented cars in the old days." <laughs> <laughs> dude, really? Why are they here? Thank God they didn't pay. Oh, oh, I thought that was them. Man. Insane. I'm gonna go talk to the squirrel, man. He knows way more than they do. So. <laughs> Okay, before we head out, I got a Mitch story. Oh, I got God. no, seriously, dude. So Mitch wrecked the bathroom this morning, right? We're at the hotel having our little breakfast, and I'm like, dude, watch my computer. I go to the bathroom. I go right after Mitch, 
Man, and boy, that bathroom stink. And the worst part is, he clogged the toilet up. So, like, everything, all his business went down, right? So I pee, and I can't flush it. And the cleaning lady comes in after me, and she's thinking, that freaking Italian dude can't even flush his own pee. And I can't. I'm like, no, I can't. I'm like, I'm hitting it, I'm hitting it. I'm like, Mitch, I don't know what you did to their, their plumbing, but... So we're going to just get a few words from Mitch. Worked fine when I left. <laughs> and that's the end of that. We're heading to Houston. Okay, so we're almost in Houston, and it is pouring. Like shower, standing in a shower pouring. And there's no getting around it. I got water all over my glasses. I can't even see. Um, but the good news is, that, look, the crown fits. Finally. Yeah, we ran Finally in to go pee. One. We had to <laughs> get off the freeway. It's pouring to where the fastest speed on your windshield wipers, you still cannot see through your window. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you the funnest thing ever, right? We are in such bad weather right now. You can see it, ready? I'm gonna, see that back windshield wiper on my back window? You see that? I'm gonna turn it on, watch this, ready? Watch. Where'd it go? It's on, it's now on. Right, that's it. It went down and back up there. Now I'm gonna turn it to the next there step. It there it goes again. Now I've just put windshield wiper fluid on the window and that's all it's doing is rubbing the back of my car. It's not even, it's not even clear in the window. I can't see anybody behind me. What a piece of crap. Okay, when I say we're in a storm and you can't see, this is my visibility, guys. There's a truck right in front of us. Yeah, there's a big truck <laughs> in front of us that we're trying to keep up with. But like, you get behind this truck, and it's like, you can't see anything. We're about 10 miles away, and it is uh, this storm is covering the entire area. Buckets and buckets of water coming down on this car. Luckily for these overpasses, I get a brief, brief glimpse of the road. And back to the... Oh, clearing over yonder. We're clearing? Oh, thank the Lord. Hey guys, it's uh, 4 in the morning in our hotel room, and um, Houston's a horrible city. <laughs> Once again, it's not the people. It's never the people. But the city's a disaster. I don't know who designed this. The uh, never use Google Maps in Houston because all it wants to do is put you on a tollway. Like for 20 miles, I was driving on the, what is it, Frontage Road? Frontage Road. Yeah. Frontage Road. Google kept wanting me to go on the Sam Houston tollway and, it, and the whole 20 miles, they didn't take cash. You only had to have this special Houston Easy Pass. And it's pass only. And that's all Google told me is get on the freeway, get on the freeway, get on the freeway. And it never told me how to take streets. I couldn't turn off tollways on Google or Waze. I tried them both. It was a disaster. I'm glad to be at the airport. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was good getting here this morning. It really was. We got up really early um, because of last night's debacle. And uh, anyway, thank you, Southwest, for having a flight. Uh, every city is the same. People the same. I'm, the more I travel, the more I realize people are pretty cool. It's just we're all on top of each other, and it makes city driving really rough, and it's congested, and, and it, it irritates people. So if you're out there in traffic, just hang in there, put some good music on, relax, and know that we're all going through it together. Barbecue is amazing in the state of um, Texas, and we saw a lot of beef ribs. So you guys came through for us proud of you guys. Thank you so much for inviting us to come to te Texas and be blown away by the Texas barbecue. In the meantime, I want to thank Char Griller for sponsoring the entire trip, the all the episodes and everything, and it's now time to uh, give away that grill that nobody ever got from me. Nobody spotted me in the restaurants, so uh, I will be, be ready because like in the next episode, I'm going to be giving it away. All right? Take care, you guys. I love you. Thanks again, Char Griller, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.